I'm Jeff Horn. I'm an artist living in Costa Mesa. I'm primarily an outdoor painter, a plein air painter. I have a history of 30 years of teaching community college uh, art at Irvine Valley. Uh, now retired and practicing what I preach. The way uh, plein air painters go about choosing their locations to paint is primarily it's just something in nature that grabs you. There is certainly subject matter everywhere in the possibility of uh, composition and design, but that's very individual. But uh, you just kind of go hunting. Then you basically set to work. The process of painting plein air is to go outside and paint directly uh, from nature. That's generally the smaller paintings that you might see around here because the process is about a two and a half hour process before the light changes. So you have to learn to work very quickly and capture the essence or the impression. Then when I get a painting, a uh, small one that I particularly like, the design and the color and the memory of it, the mood in it, then I'll attempt to come back here to the studio armed with my photos and my memory and my studies and create some of the larger works that you see here. I built this studio in around 1988, took the roof off of a garage and, and went up. We tried to keep the craftsman feeling to the studio and the house. The art is very much tied together with the craftsman movement, the plein air outdoor painting. Beauty is uh, in and of itself a moral force, someone once said to me. Everyone has had the experience of being before a sunset or something and just going, ah, well, visual people go around all the time having those ah moments. It's not particularly an intellectual exercise, it's just how nature grabs you. Then you set about trying to record or capture the feeling that you had in that moment to make it concrete. And when I'm successful, somebody else can look at the painting and go, oh, you took me there. That's success for me. In the um, early 1990s, again, I was teaching at Irvine Valley College, and I was teaching life drawing, and I was teaching uh, some portraiture. And I had a colleague at the college who was volunteering at a homeless shelter. And I said, well, gee, I'd, I'd sure love to draw uh, a homeless person. I had, a, in truth, a, a very uh, naive view of homelessness at the time. So, um, she helped set up an appointment to sit and draw someone. And at first the homeless were very reticent to do that because they felt like they were perhaps gonna be caricatured or, or made fun of. But once we finally got one volunteer, then the whole community was lining up. I resolved to do 100 portraits in charcoal of the homeless. By the time I was done with it, I had a kind of an interesting document that might make a book. So I sent letters to publishing houses and I got a couple dozen glowing rejection letters because there was no money to be made in a coffee table book of homeless people. So uh, finally, after nearly 20 years, uh, a friend of mine and I got together and uh, we raised some money and then we put in some money to publish it for ourselves. And we published a thousand books, 700 or so we've given free to agencies and organizations that are trying to do something positive for the homeless. And these organizations in turn give a book to their big donors. And fellow helped me publish the book, uh, submitted it to the um, Independent Publishers Book Awards and it was lucky enough to win the uh, gold medal for best art book of 2019. I do this because I love it, and uh, this is where I live, you know, and this is my golf and my fishing and whatever else. So uh, I get to travel and uh, see beauty all over the country and the world, 
and then uh, attempt to capture it. So I'm a lucky person.